Here we go. Let's dive right into this one. 2024 New York Pro. First call out. This is Men's Open, the pre-judging. Wow. Couple of shockers. The absence of Quint Beastwood, Quentin Uriah. We'll talk about that in just a second. We have a top six here. Angel Calderon, Tony O'Burton, couple of 212 guys, former 212 guys. Well, current for Angel. We have Martin Fitzwater, Nick Walker there in the center. Is it any wonder, guys? Beside Nick is Stu Beef. Beef Stu. Stuart Sutherland. Wow, he makes it in there. Awesome. Who's that other guy? Is that Christian Wolski? He looked like he had it all coming into this event, so he shocked a lot of people, I would suggest, getting into this first call out. Now, they did go through some shots, and I'm not going to go through all of them at this time, because, of course, they did get rid of some of these guys. They put them in another call out, and you can see Tim Butasheim, Christian Wolski, of course, and they also exited uh, Angel Calderon, but Quint Beastwood, he still has a chance here. He has a chance to get at least fifth, I think, because they, they kept in Tony O'Burton, Nick Walker, Martin Fitzwater, and uh, for goodness sakes, Beef Stew, who we'll take a look at in a, just a second. Now, why did Quint Beastwood not get in that first call out? He looks huge. Looks like he could win this one. Well, here is him from a uh, previous call out and you can see guys, he just does not have that thick back density yet. You can see Tim Budasheim right beside him. Who's that guy at the end? Wasn't that uh, spectacular from the front? The guy in the red there, his back is un unbelievable. But either which way, uh, Quint still has a chance to get in that top five. So let us, without further ado, adwe, go to the top four and excuse the placings. They did uh, mix and match Nick Walker there with uh, Tony O'Burton, things of that nature, but doesn't really matter. Th these are just screenshots at best anyway. So make your decision on these. I'll tell you, watching the, uh, the live stream, Nick, these pictures, these screenshots don't really do him much justice because he's, he's huge. His arms are just round and full and, and uh the big pointy peaks versus uh martin fitzwater i don't know man i don't know martin he is excellent he is excellent is posing everything tony o'burton he brought a previous or he brought the uh, same type of package that he did in his previous event i apologize guys getting a little ahead of myself here but he looks good and Stu, awesome awesome job here's the front lat spread and Martin, he looked better posing when he did his individuals. I think maybe his back kinked up a little bit, hitting that front lat spread. In a second, we'll see the, the rear lat spread as well. So for those of you who thought Nick Walker was going to lose this front lat spread against all of these guys, take a look. Doesn't look too bad at all. And he's separated, conditioned. Nick was unbelievable when he walked out there his midsection. And Stu looks good. And uh, Tonio looks awesome too. Turn to the side here, and like I said, just run through these shots. These are just to let you guys know where the judges have them placed. You're not going to be able to make a educated decision, especially when there's a lineup like this. Sizing gets distorted. Sometimes they look bigger. Well, speaking of sizing, you guys get on me about my sizing of uh, Tony O'Burton. Uh, just friendly. You weren't too mean about it, and I appreciate that. But look, he's huge. He stands tall, like that movie, Standing Tall. Here's the back, and Nick is, is this a lights out situation between him and Martin Fitzwater? I don't mean to downplay Stu Beef. Is he, is Stu Beef and Tonio are having a battle of their own there, I think, with, could be Tonio coming out in the better end of that, at least in the back shot, but it's very difficult to say. Martin Fitzwater, I will tell you guys right now, hamstrings were peeled, Nick Walker, hamstrings were shredded to the peeled shredded to the diced if i do say so myself now like i said martin fitzwater i think kinked up a little bit in the rear lat spread but this is what he offers and the timing is a little off i think for him and Stu. but having said that we have tony o'burton who's excellent at hitting this shot and nick walker improved i think improved from the just the the pittsburgh pro 
just a couple of weeks ago, was it a week, two weeks, whatever it was, whatever it was, I mean, he looks like he's wide open, so if it's close from the front, I think it's lights out, I think Nick, Nick has this one, I think he's getting more trouble from Tony O'Burton, if I do say so myself, side tricep, and yes, I can't get over, I think I, I missized it, I put Tony, I made Tony out too short, I think, and you guys said that I made him too tall. Uh, what happened? What happened to Nick and Martin's face? They, they, they blend right in with the background. White as a sheet. Jason Voorhees and, uh, Mike Myers could be Lilith from Cheers, too. Or Powder. They look like Powder. I think they did it on purpose. Uh, uh, I think they like the Jason Voorhees mask I put on them. But anyway, all jokes aside, um, who's winning this one? Well, Tonio looks pretty good. More realistically, I think it's between Nick and Martin. Probably go with Nick. Here's the abs and thigh. And like I said, they, like I said, they they switched around Nick, Martin, Tonio, things of that nature. The abs and thigh is quite an apples versus oranges situation. I mean, you got a vacuum pose for beef stew. It's not stew beef. I'm sorry, guys. Just rolls off the tip of the tongue. Beef stew. Stew beef. Uh abs nick he has a wider waist than say a tony o'burton or a uh, martin fitzwater but his abs are big ridges and his quads are just full of conditioning you can even see it in these blurry screenshots here's the most muscular and uh that's that's it guys that's it my opinion i think nick walker is gonna win this one i think tony o in these pictures he looks pretty good he looks awesome actually Martin Fitzwater looked slightly sharper when he came out to do his his individual poses. But still, I don't know if it's going to be enough for Tonio. Because from behind, the hamstrings, glutes, it's a serious situation. Martin Fitzwater is excellent. Tonio's excellent too. It's going to be a ba uh, just a battle. It's going to be a matchup, guys. Which Nick Walker will, in my opinion, conquer. He's going to win this one. If I had to guess, Martin, I, I still, I stick with my predictions, I guess, the, one of the few times that I still agree with myself after seeing the prejudge, I think. I, I think Tony O will still get third, possible second, Martin, second, possible third, Stu Beef, fourth, possible third, and yeah, ask for the other guys, meh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hit thumbs up on the video, let me know where you guys have these dudes placed. Have a nice one.